That feels like beneath. How about knees? Let's go down there. You guys, you guys going to come talk to me? Any other kids will come talk to me for a couple minutes? Thanks. So we, we don't have a place to sit down. You guys okay with standing? Can you remind me of her name, George? Nakira. Hi, Nakira. You always come to see me in my office when your dad's cleaning. Okay, I'm, I'm scary, Nakira. It's the big voice. Yeah, her dad works here. He's a wonderful guy. So, um, have you guys, um, is there somebody special that comes to visit you guys sometimes at your house? Who, do, who, who is it that you like to see come and visit? What's her name? Mia. Mia and Nellie. What's it like when they come? It makes you happy? What about you? Who do you like to come see, come to visit your house? Andy? Okay. Does she have a special visitor that comes to her house? Who is it? Okay. Well, when somebody comes to our house that's not usually there, it's really awesome. And that's what we're talking about today and this whole week. Somebody has come to the house of people of all people groups and all nations. Someone has come to our house. Who is that? It's God. God has come to the house of the people of humanity. God has come here in Jesus Christ to be a little baby at Christmas time. And Santa. Well, let's see. Let's not go there. <laughs> but yeah, God has come to visit us. You know, it's because of God that we have stories like Santa, of Santa giving presents, because God gave us this amazing present of himself in Jesus. Let's pray. Holy, holy, holy God, we thank you that you are high and lifted up, holy above all things, wonderful, exalted, and we thank you that you're a giving and tender and loving and merciful God a self-giving God. Thank you for giving yourself to us in Jesus at Christmas. In your name I pray. Amen. Hey, I'll see you guys. Thank you for coming. Here you go. Take this.